open here um, to let in hopefully a little more breeze and we opened up the driver's window but we didn't realize that it made it harder to see the mirrors so we closed that. If you have any suggestions on how to get some fresh air in our RV without the front vents working that would be awesome. <laughs> everything that's uh, happening in our RV, all the little gadgets and all the fun things. We haven't figured out how to work the stereo yet, um, so we're just playing it off our phone. It works just the same right now. We did discover this a really cool um, laptop beat that the previous owner left us that has all of our really cool information. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Engine management, engine management software. Yeah, so uh, Tyler just <laughs> let me know it's called an engine management software. So he's pretty stoked on that. Um, all the cool stats about what's happening with our rig as we're going down the road. It's actually really cool. Let's us know the uh, recent miles per gallon, the speed. Uh, what are some other cool things that it's showing? It gives you a tachometer, boost, pressure. Uh, exhaust gas temperatures, uh, oil pressures, really just everything that you need to kind of monitor while you're driving a diesel. So it kind of has everything going on that one yeah, screen. I'll show you guys. Let's see. So I can just look over every once in a while and make sure everything's going good. It's even more accurate than the gauges in the on the dash. Yeah. So Tyler discovered he was actually looking at the gauges on the dash and um, they weren't matching up. So we're assuming that the one on this engine management system is actually more accurate. If you look, we are starting, we're already on I-26 and we're going to follow that all the way down. We'll probably get down to Spartanburg tonight. We're going to look for um, 
a good truck stop to kind of fuel up at and get a few miles under our belt tonight and then wake up tomorrow morning and um, go the rest of the way home. So that's the plan and um, it's been our first night in the RV. We're pretty stoked on that. that just passed us. <laughs> it's kind of crazy being up this high. It feels like, we were just talking about, it feels like you're floating almost. And we're definitely going um, pretty fast. We're going 60 right now. But it, it does feel as almost like you're floating. of our new home on wheels. Just a second, I'll show you, hold on. Are you ready for this? This is the view from the passenger seat of our new home on wheels. And I've got the steps right here, but if I flip this nifty little switch, watch this, there's a floor! There's a floor here! And I can just enjoy the ride and the view without having dangling feet over the steps. going up and down some grades here, going over into Asheville from um, Bristol, going on, um, what is it? 26. I-26, yeah, we don't even know what road we're on right now. Um, I-26, so we're gonna really test out um, how well it pulls a grade and then um, how our brakes are reacting and all those fun things. Here. Giving the brakes a little trial run down this little grade before we start crossing over some larger grades here. Some beautiful views though. Look how close we are to the bridge. <laughs> feels a little funny going that close under a bridge. Sorry, quick intermission. We had to figure out how to turn on the hazard lights. We figured it out and uh, we're good to go now. So I'm finding more cool things about our rig here. I'll show you. Check out this little guy. I just noticed on the side here um, that it's a little light. So I can kind of check out our plans, you know, from the passenger seat without disturbing the driver too much. The light doesn't travel too far. But it's just enough to kind of light up what I'm looking at here and um, keep going on the road. All right, here's little Morgan. We're ready for our first uh, dinner in the RV here. Pulled over at a rest area to have some nice dinner and relax for a few minutes. Cheers. <laughs> You can't really 
really see what we see right now because of all the light. But coming down off of um, the second grade here, there's just like clouds settling into the ridges of the mountains and it's absolutely beautiful. 